What's cracking, y'all? I'm starting up a new puzzle series, and the basis of the puzzle series is to try to climb towards 3,000 puzzle rating, but I'm trying as hard as I can not to care about my puzzle rating at the same time. If I go down, I feel like that helps me get those puzzles down in that lower rating to build upon and eventually improve. So I'm going to take a maximum of five minutes per puzzle to figure out my first move, and if I don't know the move, I'm going to take my best stab, and if I don't get it right or don't understand the puzzle, I'm going to analyze it and figure out how it works. And I think that'll help me get as many puzzles in as I can while still really giving myself some time to analyze the puzzle and think about what might be happening. I feel like I'm hypothesizing that five minutes might be the sweet spot um, for this sort of thing. So I'm going to try and make it happen. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for following along. Let's get right into it. All right, let's push some puzzles, see how we do today. Um, first instinct here is definitely to try to line up a checkmate threat here. Could be to sack the rook. Sometimes that happens. This pawn is pinned by the bishop, which is interesting. I feel like this probably works, given the fact that the pawn is pinned. Yeah, I don't know how you stop this. So black has a check here. Or a check here. Both of which can be dealt with by pieces. And then I think black's out of checks. So it's got to be this, right? You can't stop that. Queen's coming here the next move. There's nowhere for the king to go. That's mate. It's got to be. Yeah. Okay. And I take this. Sweet. All right. First one, good to go. Let's keep it rolling. Almost a fork there. It's not protected though, so I can. Um, is that interesting? I don't think so. So the bishop is protecting the knight right now. Is it this? Uh, or this maybe actually, because the rook's behind the knight. But if the rook goes, yeah, the rook can't go there because the bishop has this diagonal. So that all looks pretty good. I think I like attacking the knight with the rook behind it. Because if the knight moves, then I take the rook. Is there any cool thing that the knight can do? I don't really think so. Yeah, I think I, I think I just win an exchange here. That looks pretty good. There's no way for this rook to protect the knight. Yeah, I don't think anything can protect the knight. What if uh, what if the queen drops back, actually? Huh, the queen dropping back is interesting. If the queen drops back, so here, 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 here. Oh, I just win the bishop at the end of the line. Okay, yeah, it's, it's got to be this, right? Uh, the pawn push. Hmm, does that save the day? It looks like it does, actually. Okay. Ah, okay. So, would that be better then? Yeah, because the rook still can't go here. So for some reason, I thought the, I think it's probably it's got to be this way because the pawn can't get in the way. So I, I'm coming here, and the the rook has no way to defend this. I'm winning in exchange. Really, I can't believe that's not that's not the puzzle. All right, let me analyze that. I looked at the pawn fork. I don't at all understand why that's... Okay. So I'm just winning more material this way. And what about... This move. Yeah, the knight can move. Okay, so that was the reason why this was good, and I forgot. I got a little overexcited when I realized that this didn't work because of the pawn push. Okay. Okay. So the idea... So... I was on the right track, I just didn't get there. So you, I wanted to push the pawn to draw the queen onto this square so that I could pin the queen to the knight and then win the knight. Because if I just attack the knight immediately, over here the pawn pushes, that doesn't work. If I attack the knight over here, the knight just moves. And then I'm just trading bishops, which doesn't do anything. Okay, okay. Tough puzzle, honestly. Uh, yeah, needed to make that extra step, and that's what the puzzle's are coming down to for the most part at this point. Uh, okay, so I didn't mean to redo this, but there it is. All right, 
Let's keep it rolling. All right, so that drops my rating down a little bit. Got five points, lost 12 or something, but we don't care about the rating, so no big deal. Um, I have this check. My rook is pinned. Kind of looks like the rook can just block there. It's got, I mean, it's just the rook and the queens, right, that I'm, that I'm dealing with here. This knight is not, doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of anything. So I feel like if I trade here, here, I would have to do this. Oh, I'm just winning both rooks, right? This maybe is nasty. At the end of the line. I don't think so. I just hide, right? Huh. Okay. So if I take this, this is a hanging rook right now. It would appear. So if I take that, rook takes, takes here. Queen here is what I have to worry about. And then I feel I feel like maybe that's like the secret of the puzzle. And then I can hide my king. Protect the knight. If queen checks here. Is that perpetual? Is there a way for me to avoid that? Here, here, here. Here is what I'm worried about. Kind of feels like my, my knight's either lost or I'm just getting perpetually checked. Am I, am I okay with my knight being lost? I am up a couple pawns, right? I'm up a couple pawns. I'm, okay, so I'd lose this pawn, but I do have, I mean, I have this pass pawn here that seems like would be pretty good for winning the game. Is that not the idea, though? So here, 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 here. And then the queen comes here. Oh, the queen can't go there. My knight's, my knight's protecting that square. Okay, so the check that I was thinking was a problem is not a problem. So I can just trade these, right? Or I'm taking a knight. I'm taking a rook. And I take this, obviously. And now I just go here. And I'm safe. No checks. Because this would be the only checking square when my knight has it, I think. Or, or like here, but I just go in here, right? Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I completely missed that my knight was covering that square. Okay. Decent, decent calculation there. Um, all right. I got a knight pinned to my queen. I got a knight pinned to my king. I got a queen that's not looking at really anything. Is it one of these? I feel like I... Ah, uh, no, but I'm not checking there. Okay. I recently had a puzzle where it was like the continuation... This is a daily puzzle. The continuation was to take the queen. So if I go here, my queen gets taken, I and then I could take the knight and threaten the queen. I'm not checking the king, so the queen can just move. So I don't like that very much. Hmm. Not immediately seeing this. Um, if I do that first, does that work for some reason? I mean, my whole goal is kind of to win a piece. I don't really see why that would be a good idea. Uh... But like drawing the king onto a different square, like this would be a fork immediately. No, I don't, I don't really see why that's good. So if I if I were to go here, and the king took, which isn't even forced, I could take here with check. But then the knight can just take, and I can't even take the bishop. It's got to be something to do with that though, like some something to do with these forks. These knights must be doing something weird. This one can't even move. So it would just be this knight. Um, I don't see anything cool. I don't see cool ass stuff that I can do. Uh, like this would be threatening a fork if I could move my knight, but I can't. I can attack the bishop, sort of force it to make a move, but that doesn't look very good. Like if my queen were here, then like I'm kind of threatening mate. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a stretch. Uh, I'm not seeing this at all. Um, it's been about five minutes, so I think I'm going to give up. I think, I think I'm probably going to try this move, even though I don't see at all why it would work. Because I don't know what else to do. Like, maybe sacrifice the bishop. Sack the bishop. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to try this, I guess. I have no idea why, though. That is it. Okay, so I guess I should probably look at this for a little longer, then. If I go here... Is it this? Oh, it's this. Yeah, then I win the bishop. 
Okay, so I, I check on the other side. I don't, so I, I didn't think the king had to take the bishop. Okay, well, I, I can go here. I was thinking about, for some reason, I was only seeing this, which was super dumb. But I can go here, and the, the queen can't see my uh, knight through the pawn. And then I just take the, take the bishop here. Okay, accidentally got one right. Accidentally got one right. Excellent. Um, should I? I'm gonna analyze that. To, I gotta analyze that to, to look at what happens if the king doesn't take. I guess, but it, it's, it's the point of the is the point of the puzzle. That this is just a free pawn. King d7 is the recommended move. H3. Yeah. So then I just play on. So it's really just a free pawn. I think it's sort of the key to the puzzle. And they they sort of played the puzzle the way they they did so that. Uh, you could see what happens if the king takes. Um, and the, the key was that I have a discovered attack on the bishop with that knight check. All right, I have two queens here, which is pretty spicy. Oh, white, white has two queens too. Okay, is it just... Uh, this looks pretty darn good. Probably knight blocks. If the knight blocks, I take the queen. Uh, here, here... I mean, there's got to be a mate here. This is this is wild to calculate with two knights and two queens defending. But um, here, if knight takes, I take the queen, I would assume. Or if knight blocks, I take the queen is what I meant to say. Uh, if the king moves, is there a quicker one? Here. I like forcing the king backwards into this mess with my queens pinching it like this. Uh, if so, if the knight blocks, then I yeah. So if the knight blocks, what do I do? I have to take the queen, right? For sure. Um, if the king moves, so here, here, this is checkmate. It's got to be right. Yeah. I mean, the knight can move to here. To block, but then I just take it. Oh man, and the, so this, line, this line might be longer than I'm anticipating. Um, but if the knight block, I think this this must be the move, right? It feels better than moving this this one down to me. I like getting both queens pinching the king here. But if if I were to do this and the king went up here, yeah. Oh, it can't. Okay, well, if I went down here, okay, so the king could go here, then I go here, is that mate? Yeah. No. Then the king could go here. All right, I think I like this one better, but it just feels sort of, it's hard to calculate. Okay, here, knight takes, I take the queen, here, 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 his mate. Uh, or knight, knight can block, and I take it. Then is the king escaping? Here, and I'm just gonna win the queen, maybe. I don't know. This one's weird. So it, I, I, it could be wrong that these are even the only moves. Like, is this? Is there like a mate in one that I'm missing? If I go here, oh, is that mate in one? That's mate in one. I'm glad I kept looking. That's why we take five minutes, y'all, not one. Uh, so here, takes this, this, these are taken, this is taken, nothing can block, right here. This is mate. That's wild. Awesome. Okay. Uh, glad I kept looking, you know, just, uh, just gotta do it sometimes. Alright, this feels mandatory given that my rook is being attacked. Or actually, maybe this? Because it's mate in two? Feels like an unstoppable mate in two. Because the king... The only move for the king would be here. Because once I take away these two squares, like, where are you going to go? Yeah, I think that works. The rooks can't give checks. They can't do anything, I don't think. I think this, this is just mate in two, rather than giving a check and letting it escape somewhere. Because I want to be able to access this square. Yeah, I think, I think that's got to be it. Excellent. There we go. All right, rolling a little bit. Six points for that one. One extra point from the usual. 
Let's keep it rolling. All right. Um, this is a check. Actually, a pretty good one, because if I get to here, this is mate. Uh, a pawn can push. But not a whole lot of pieces can get in the way other than that pawn. Uh, so if this pawn pushes, I take... That seems slow, though. Oh, the pawn can't push because because the queen's behind it. Awesome. Okay, so this has got to be it. This is mate. This is either mate or you push the pawn. And I just take the queen. Right? Guys, there are two pieces looking at this. What am I seeing? You know? It's this, probably. No, then you can... Ah, okay. Wow. I don't know. Look, how do I not... How do I how do I have blind spots like this? I'm glad I saw it eventually, but it took like a full minute to see that. It's crazy. All right. Um, but this so this ends up with the queen here probably, right? Okay. I really want to make this happen, but I feel like this saves the day. I don't really see why trading it would be any good. If I go here. Here, I can't like pin it or anything because the queen can just take and then I'll be pinned so I can't like do anything about it um, thinking about just diving in with my bishop just trying to blow it up but there's a bunch of pieces looking here so it's not really doing anything either is there another way to force this pawn forward knowing that the queen is pinned maybe this uh, well, I can go here. Okay, attack the pin pawn, and then I'm threatening this, which is more dangerous. So if I go here, this pawn can't take, pawn can't push. I guess if my queen goes here, the pawn can then push and just attack my queen. Here. Alright, if I, man, there's a lot, there's a lot of things. If I go here, white well, can do an, an absurd amount of things. I think, like just going here to support would be pretty. It would just completely nullify any threat that I had, wouldn't it? Maybe not. So if I, if you go there, then I do I take? Because if I can get my queen up here, like the bishop can't really take back, because then I can just push my pawn, and nothing's blocking. So the queen can't really access the diagonal to block, can it? Actually, if I push here, can the queen just come straight down? Probably. Yeah, this seem this seems too slow. I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, all right, I'm over five minutes. I want to make a move, but I don't know what it's going to be. This diagonal looks super threatening. There's just not a lot of pieces that can block. I feel like I want to do this, but it just doesn't seem very good. This team's way too slow to me. Alright, I guess let's give the pawn push a try. I don't know. I don't see the whole line. It is that. Wow, and the queen does come down here. So I predicted both of those, so now what do I do? Do I attack the bishop? Or do I trade first? Because, yeah, I was thinking my threat was this, and that obviously doesn't work anymore. I feel like I kind of have to trade these. Then do I go... What do I do? I don't have a mate threat anymore. So, like, if I trade the queen away, the mate threat is gone, so I, I have to win something here immediately. And I just don't see what it is. He, if I go here, do I trade and then just take the pawn? Am I just winning a pawn? Is that the entire puzzle? So here, here, here. If the bishop takes, I take, takes, takes. Or not not takes, probably actually would be the better play for white there, right? But if I just win the pawn, is that the whole puzzle? Feels like the rook's getting in. I don't really know. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the threat is from here. So I take with check. Does that does it matter? I don't think really. Take with check. The rook gets in. And then I just win a pawn. And start pushing maybe. Maybe that's the threat. So I'm threatening to win a piece. Just making a pass pawn. That seems like a pretty good 
pretty good deal. I don't know. And then just take this. Okay. And now I'm just winning a piece. I don't know. That was wild. Um, I guess I'll analyze that. I don't really know what to analyze about it. Let's just take a look at that for a second, though. Uh, I feel like there's got to be something I should learn. So I, I did calculate that the, the best the best move for white, I think, was the queen down here. Is that true? B7, yeah. So B7, B, B7 presents that prevents this checkmate idea. Um, all kind of tough to see, speculative, I felt like, from my point of view. Um, but yeah, I guess there's just this threat in the middle. So the pawn can't take because if the pawn takes, I go here and there's there's mate. It's just checkmate. Um, the pawn can't push because the queen's behind. So the queen comes down here to prevent me from getting my queen to here for this checkmate threat. Um, so queen comes down, I take, trade off, and then I guess it's just the threat of this past pawn. So it likes it likes knight take. So it just really doesn't want me to let this pawn through. So I only I just took one pawn so far. If the bishop drops back, that's that bad. F3. Okay, so I'm just getting in the. I guess my pawn just. I guess my pawn's just pushing. So the, like sort of the entire point of the puzzle was making this pass pawn. Um, that was a lot of alliteration that sentence. I hope you guys appreciated that. All right, let's keep it rolling. Let's do a couple more puzzles. I'm on a little bit of a roll here. Let's keep it climbing, dude. Um. All right. So I can go here and just trap the king, but then I can't push any further. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Okay, so that's uh, Zeus Vaughn, right? So if I go here, white doesn't have a move other than to push this pawn, and I just take. Wow, I just caught that Zooks Vaughn super quick. Your boy's big brand, you know? Just looks like a Zooks Vaughn-y position. But uh, you play enough puzzles, you start to get that intuition going, and that's why I want to just run through these, make sure I understand them. Get to know the position so I recognize it the next time. Uh, but I'm going here. The king can't move. None of the pawns can move except for this one. And when this one pushes, I just take with this pawn. And then the other pawns are going to be locked up. Ooh, do I not take with that pawn? Because the other pawns are going to be locked up. Okay, so I have, some ki I have some consideration here. I think I might have to take this way. Because I have to allow white moves. And I can't ever let the king move out of the way because the pawn promotes. So, all right, here, here, I think I probably have to take this way. Here, 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 here. That's not right. White's promoting one square after me. So I have a queen here. White gets a queen here. Now, I don't have a check, do I? I don't think I'm winning that, so I'm going to have to reconsider. Oh, I do have a check. Okay, I can check here. And that's mate. That's hilarious. That's a wild mate. That's made from so far away with the queen. So it works. All right. Here. And then I have to go this way to allow white to have moves. If I go this way, white just pushes a pawn and is stuck. And that's a stalemate. So I have to go this way, right? And then I just drop down one square. And it's checkmate. Wow. Wow. This is mate, right? It's gotta be. Sick, dude. Psyched on that one. Psyched on that one. All right, let's keep it rolling. All right, I got discover attack ideas. This bishop moves. I feel like this one's gonna be a mate in one, but it's not, I don't think. If I go this way, so the king going backwards is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, if I stay on this diagonal, the rook can come up, I guess. The bishop takes. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I don't like the king being able to get to here at all. How do I, how do I deal with that? Is it better here? I was thinking I wanted to get my rook to here. But I don't see a way to do that, unless my other rook can swing. Uh, wait a second. Okay, now I'm seeing that the rook has this. Hmm. I feel like I want to drop back. I feel like I might end up having a sack of rook. I don't really know where, though. Uh, what if I go here? 
Ooh, that's it. That's got to be it. So I go here and then here probably. My king can go here. Uh, but then I, I mean, I must, getting my queen in must win. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, my rooks have both of these files, so I think this is it. Because the king can't take it, the pawn can't take it because it's in check, so the, the king is forced one of three places, I think they're all mate. So if I go here, king goes here, this is mate. So definitely can't go that way. Here, here, this, what was I just looking at here? And then I think the king is forced, oh, I could go this way. I hadn't thought about that though. If it goes up, what do I do? Uh, win the queen probably with a discovered attack. What was I just looking at? Okay, so here, 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 uh, king only has one move. If it wants to go, if it, if it wants to go to the back rank, it can only go there. And then my bishop's looking at it through my rook, so my rook can come here and win the queen. I feel like that's got to be it. It's got to be this. This looks really good. If the king goes here, this, and then it only has one move, and this is mate. It all looks good. It all looks good on this line. All right. This. Am I just winning the the knight and the queen? Okay. Uh, they're not even going to let me finish the puzzle, but I think this move, I mean, this move maybe saves the game momentarily, but I win the knight with discovered attack on the queen, so I'm winning both of those pieces, so that's excellent. All right, uh, okay, so let's try to do one more puzzle. I, I'm, I am getting pretty close to 2,500. We don't care about we don't care about the score. We don't care about the elo, but I'm getting pretty, pretty close to 2,500. Um, okay, so... I'm just promoting that pawn, it would seem like. So the the knight can attack my king. But push here, here. Is there a way to stop me? Is there there's a trick to this puzzle? Push check, I would think. Here, which is a good spot for my king to be. I kinda want it there anyway. Oh, is it is it that this is a problem? I think I probably can just attack the knight, right? I don't really want to get in front of my pawn. So is it better to go here first? Do I want to like hold these squares somehow? Where do I want my king? Hmm. Okay, these endgame things are tough. I feel like it, maybe I even come down. Because that takes away... Uh, I guess the knight... Oh, man, I, I gotta avoid these checks. If I come down, I was thinking like I could come here, like the knight could come here, but I have to move my pawn. I think you can trade the knight for the pawn here, and the, this king is in way better position if I lose the pawn. So I feel like I have to push the pawn. That makes me really feel like I have to push the pawn because two moves from now, the, the, the knight can just take it. So I'm going to push the pawn, I think, and then this check is a little annoying. Do I come towards the knight? If I do, oh, I come, I come towards the knight here probably. Wait a second. Here, wait, here, here, here underneath. I'm attacking the knight. If the knight goes here, yeah, I can't. It can't go straight forward. If it goes there, then I just push, and you can't stop me. Yeah, that's got to be it. So I think it's here, here. And I just don't think there's a whole lot I can do about it. I don't. The king's not in time. So, like, moving my king down would usually be kind of weird, given that the king's here. But here, I'm assuming this comes. And then immediately when that comes, I go here. If the king tries to come over, yeah, it's not even, not even close. Okay, I, th I think that's going to be it. And now I just I come straight down to take away these two squares. If the king goes here to try to attack the pawn, I'm obviously pushing it towards promotion. Awesome. Nothing you can do. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, let's run one more and try to get 25 hundo, even though we don't care about the score. We don't care about the score, but we're about to hit 25 hundo. Excellent.
Excellent. Another end gamer, huh? Alright, really want to take this, naturally. Um, but there's going to be some kind of trick. So, if I take this, that's, okay, I'm not seeing it. What's the trick? If I take this, king here, oh, that protects, doesn't it? Wait, take this, king here, and then what do I do? I can just move here, but my pawn gets taken. So if I go here first, does that help somehow? I don't see how it would. This is weird. If, t if I take this pawn, this king comes here, I push, and the pawn takes and it's running. Or if I just leave my pawn, if I... I feel like I have to go here. Oh yeah, that... Yeah, that works. Okay, yeah, I go here, I go here, and if the king tries to get towards my pawn, then I'm just taking this pawn. Because then I can lose this pawn, I move over, and I'm going to end up taking this pawn, and there's nothing There's nothing I can do about that. That's got to be the puzzle here. Here, it doesn't matter what you do. If you go here, I'm taking, I'm taking the pawn. You can take, but I'm taking this one. So I just have the best position with the king right now to get... Yeah, this is a this is a key square. Okay. What did I just say? I'm taking this. I'm taking this. I can lose this pawn. It doesn't matter. I just scoot right back over and go gobble this pawn, and I'm protecting my pawn the whole time. I'm not blowing this by taking this, right? Yeah. No, I just move out. Of the, yeah. This is. I have opposition. This is exactly what I want. I take opposition, and we're rolling. There's nothing you can do. There it is, dude. 2506. We're going to call it there, you know. But look at that 2506 rating in all its splendor. Um, that's going to do it for the day. We're rolling, dude. See what patience does for you or maybe lack of patience, however you want to think about it. But five minutes is the perfect amount of time to think about these things. If you get them wrong, fine. Study them. If you get them right, you climb up to 25 hundo like I did today. You know, and that they, I, this is all due to the fact that I've been spending a little bit, the perfect amount of time on these puzzles, you know, and if I get it wrong, I'm making sure to learn it, and it's paying off, dude, it's paying off, you're seeing the fruits of my labor, thanks for watching, catch you later.